All right, so let's just check this is working. Yep, it is, so let's mute that. Alright, so what's up everybody? This is the uh, second boss fight on Project Warlock. Uh, I do not know what the boss is actually, because I've not done it yet, as you can see. I've done the first chapter, which I've uploaded footage of me from the very start, and then a separate guide for the Sorcerer, which was the boss. And then... This is, um, so that was the medieval zone. This is the Antarctica zone. I've done a stream with every single level, and now this will be my boss fight guide. So, I don't know what kind of boss he will be. So, let's find out. But first things first. Let's put some funky music on and be ready to scream like a little girl. Hmm. Tentacles left. Right, wrong weapon. So, you have to kill the tentacles. Ah. Which is easier than it looks. Well, it's not easier than it looks, I should say. Because he summons ads, because why would he not? And then I died. Damn. Alright, but we know what to do. So, let's try... Flame fra. That is not doing anything. That's not doing anything either. Alright, so Oozies it is then. Alright. So, it seems to be if you hide in this tunnel, it seems to be alright. To a degree. Oop, nope. Nearly restarted it. I don't want to do that. I mean, it's not exactly the most bravest fight, but as long as I don't die, let's go get some ammo. Pistol him. Get some ammo. Hide. Three tentacles left. Okay. Two tentacles left. One tentacle left. Let's get back in this tunnel. Alright, one tentacle left. Where are you, tentacle? One tentacle left. Alright. Ah, run. Run, 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 run. Alright. Alright. Spam magic like a 
cheap or because that's what you do. Uh, welcome to everyone that's watching. If you ask in, want to ask anything about the game, feel free. Uh, my friend will do his best to let me know because I'm not actually looking at chat, if you don't mind. Ah, that's the wrong one. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, no, I ran out of ammo. Oh, I got no ammo. There we go. Killed him. Ah! <laughs> Get ammo. No, not a flamethrower. I don't want the flamethrower. Go away. There probably there is a bazooka actually. Right now, flamethrower. Ah! Flamethrower is so shit. I feel like the flamethrower is really good when you upgrade it. But otherwise, I feel it's shit. And ultimately, nothing can beat the old Desert Eagle. Thing's just a beast. I'm so glad I chose that instead of the uh, uh, flare gun. Alright, so let's just grab everything like a cheeky little person. I couldn't think of a word. Alright. Yeah, cheeky little ninja. Alright, so yeah, that is... Oh no, there's a secret here. Right, that's the exit. Alright, so that is the um, second boss on Project Warlock. I'll show you all the uh, levels and everything after this. So, this tells you the next bit of the story. Yeah, yeah it's cool. I can see my chat again, so... So... A hail of sleet and snow just pet descends upon you. The weather is the only resistance that remains in this frozen land. Now that you've eradicated the ancient abominations, a lesser man would have been brought to his knees in the face of these foul creatures, waking from their millennia-long slumber. But not you. The blood pumping in your veins has run cold. You could use a tropical getaway right about now. There you go. I cannot do voiceovers, so... <clears throat> but so yeah that takes us back to the workshop so we have eight stars so I have enough to upgrade a weapon which I will upgrade my blister my crossbow so, you can either have the crossbow where it fires three shots, so which would be good. But I'm definitely going to go with fire a huge ballista missile capable of penetrating multiple enemies because I want the damage. And then there are my spells. Right, so. Oh, look, and you get a little thing for when you kill a boss. That's cool. So, yeah, so these are all the levels. Um, these are obviously the ones I haven't unlocked. I'm about halfway through the game now. So first level starts off on medieval zone, um, and the boss of that is the sorcerer. And it says on here how many levels per uh, you have to do in order to come back. So once you've done the first two levels, you come back to the workshop where you can upgrade your weapons and everything else. And then Antarctica is the one I've just done. Um, and then Egypt is the new one with the boss, which is the Sphinx. So that'll be quite funny. And there are a absolute ton of weapons. So every weapon has two abilities, uh, two skills you can unlock. So, for example, my pistol, I could have made it a flare gun, but I didn't want to. I wanted the 50 cal magnum because it does more damage, but uses more ammo. And that's basically the trade-off. 
So the shotgun is stronger, but the upgrade, the other option is it gives it more shots. So you can only choose one, and then it locks out the other one. So, but thank you to everyone that came in and watched. I'm gonna end my stream there because this is just gonna be uploaded later to my YouTube as a little boss fight guide. Um, I put all of them on there, which is Grim Reaper Sage on YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch as that's my new home because of the, what happened with Mixer and I do a whole load of reviews I'm currently reviewing this game for my blog which is uh, garylodgegamesreview.game.blog uh, which I'm reviewing this for the company it made this which is Crunching Koalas so until next time I shall hopefully see you again